Hello everyone and welcome back to the Denver Broncos franchise. In the last game, we won yet another one score game, this time against the Chargers. And Dennis Colbert for the second straight week exited with an injury, this time in the second half, missing basically the whole fourth quarter. There's a lot to go over this week, so let's go ahead and get started. I do want to point out that I am messing around with the sliders and I've got some new ones I'm going to import right now. I'm going to hit the reset button. It's best to import them from the main menu, apparently apparently. So that's what I'm going to do here. I lowered the QB accuracy by a couple. I lowered the run blocking by a couple. Everything else for the user has stayed the same though. CPU skill has stayed mostly the same other than pass defense reaction time and pass coverage. I have upped the pass defense reaction time, I believe from 55 up to 70. And I have upped the pass coverage to 75. And in turn, I lowered interceptions from a 33 to a 30. I figure that's a fair trade-off, but both pass coverage and pass defense reaction time for the CPU have been upped by 15. So hopefully that makes throwing the ball a lot more difficult. Basically, I just want offense for us and the CPU to be a lot more difficult. Every single game for the most part has been 30 plus points from both teams. That's just not realistic. And I'm all about the realism. So a lot of stuff going on. Let's take a look at this tandem breakout. I swear if it's Marvin Mims again, it is. Marvin Mims continues to get these breakout opportunities from Chester Truman having absolutely insane games. This time we're going to challenge him. I think I praised him the last two times. So we'll see if this comes up with a different target, but the guy has never been close to 150 plus receiving yards. So if it's that goal again, I am just going to imagine he's not getting it, especially considering this game we have coming up is a very, very heavy rain game. Chester Truman has earned 2,500 XP and Marvin Mims needs 150 plus receiving yards, which I don't think he has ever done in his career. It's a rivalry game against the Chiefs. Who we did beat out for the AFC West Championship last season. We need to... I'm going to praise Chris Jones. He's one of the best players in the NFL. I don't think there's any point in ragging on your opponent. Just get the W. We also have next man up. I don't know what this is because for the most part, we are very, very healthy. And it is... Javante Williams has seen limping around the facility and has been ruled out for this week's game against Kansas City. What are your expectations? I mean, Tajay Spears has been playing better than Javante Williams anyway. But what is what is this? Is he injured? He is not on our injury report. So apparently the media knows something that we don't. Tajay Spears will have plus five break tackle and carry for the next game against the Chiefs. Be the Chiefs and rush for 150 plus yards with Tajay Spears. Javante Williams is out this week, but will return for your next game. Wow, I've never seen that before. Apparently you can have, I guess, a little story that one of your players gets injured. So Javante out this week, despite not being injured in the previous game. In fact, having a really good game and we haven't even done the training yet. We've got a heavy rain forecast. The last time this happened, we could not punt the ball to save our lives. Looks like it's going to be raining for the entire game this week and probably won't take long for the conditions to get pretty sloppy. We're going to focus on running the ball with a slick football. I, I don't necessarily trust the pass here. Why does it almost look like our jerseys are gradient in this little cutscene? It's very strange. And then we also need to set a national scouting focus. And we are going to set that to wide receiver. Also, I went back to the recording of last week's episode and did see that, in fact, Avery Baptiste only needed one TFL to get star development, which the game bugged out and said he did not earn. Let me show you guys that he did, in fact, get his tackle for a loss. So if we look at TFLs, Cameron Bynum had two, Drew Sanders had one, Avery Baptiste, the man in question, had one. So I am going to manually be giving him star development. I'm sure you all can agree that that's fair because he did meet the requirement that the game had set. So Avery Baptiste now back to star development. We do also have the second mock draft. I've done very, very little scouting because we actually don't have a draft pick through the first three or four rounds this coming off season. So I'll scroll through here. Feel free to pause if you see your favorite team, but just know Broncos will not have a first round pick unless we make some type of trade. But let's get into the weekly strategy for this week. And we are going 
going to focus on defending the short pass as per the usual, and we are going to try to run it inside. Hoping for no injuries, we've been quite injured the last couple weeks. Looks like offensively, other than Javante Williams, we're good to go. Our backup right tackle is injured though. And defensively, which is where we've really been the most banged up, we're pretty much fully healthy now, other than Chad Muma, the backup middle linebacker. No injuries here. And finally, we do have some players to upgrade, one of them being Chester Truman, who continues to get 2,500 XP for inspiring Marvin Mims, who continues to not earn the upgraded development trait. And Chester is getting really, really good, guys. Like, I mean, it is, it's getting ridiculous. He's up to an 86. He's an 84 true overall. I wish there was one of these that focused specifically on medium route running, but none of them do. So let's just try to get him back to being a scheme fit by giving him some playmaker upgrades. And this is a pretty big upgrade. One awareness, one ball carry vision, one break tackle, one catch in traffic, one deep route running, and three medium route running. That is what I wanted to see. It's up to an 87 now and has 75 medium route running, 91 short route running, and 80 deep route running with 89 spec catch up to 88 catching, 93 catch in traffic. And you can't forget 99 speed and 99 acceleration. And then Will Ware, another backup middle linebacker, has an upgrade. You'll almost never see him on the field. Let's just give him a field general upgrade, keep him as a scheme fit to maximize XP. And that's a pretty good upgrade for him. One block shedding, one man, one play rec, one tackle, and two zone. But anyway, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this matchup against the Chiefs. Back to back home games for the Broncos. And it is some heavy rain here in Denver. Taking a look at Chester Truman stats from last week, which are absolutely absurd. Nine catches, 180 yards, and two touchdowns. Patrick Mahomes, by the way, yet to throw an interception this season. 21 touchdowns, no picks. The Broncos will start with the ball this time, and we are underway here in Denver. Jerry Perry back to return, and he's going to be able to bring this one out. And he'll do just that but doesn't even get to the 20. The Broncos, led by Dennis Colbert, will start from the 19. From the 23, we're going back to Spears. Nowhere to go. It's a pickup of one third down. One thing I'm concerned about this week is the last time we played in a heavy rain game, it made it nearly impossible to punt. We'll see if that's the case again, and we're going to get to see that pretty much immediately as Colbert misses the throw for Chester fourth and five. So I am very concerned that this punt is just going to be awful. I'm going to try my very best to be as accurate as possible. I did miss mess it up a little bit. Okay. It was a good punt. Maybe that has since been patched, but if you guys have been watching for a while, you might remember it was actually against the chiefs as this is a really good return. Will wear bringing him down that we could not punt the ball without it being absolutely shanked for like maybe 15 yards maximum. A great return sees the chiefs start from the Denver 46 after a three and out for that Bronx goes offense. Isaiah Pacheco on the carry going to be brought down by Cameron Bynum and Khalil Mack at the 39. As this is going to be another handoff, Pacheco going nowhere. PS2 on the tackle. Third down. Third and four. Can the Chiefs convert? Mahomes out of the shotgun. Not a handoff to Pacheco this time. It is caught though. That is Sky Moore on the reception. A first down for Kansas City. First and 10 from the 32 as Mahomes has Rice in motion. Actually, that's Kadarius Tony, and he'll make a man miss and then go down at the 23, second and one. Mahomes with Pacheco in the backfield. It's not a wow. Absolutely no coverage down the field. I was about to say it's not a run. Nobody on Sky Moore whatsoever. I don't know if our man slipped, if it was just a mismatch defensively. We didn't have anybody lined up, but that is the easiest touchdown pass Patrick Mahomes is ever going to throw. It'll be 6-0, 7-0 pending the PAT. Let's see if the Broncos can do a little bit better offensively this time. First and 10 from the 25. It's Tajay Spears. Really not a whole lot of places to go. There's a flag down. Is this going to be a face mask? No, it's holding on the offense, and that'll push us back. That makes it first and 20 from the 15. Colbert will look to throw. Has Rashad Winters, and he's got a decent pickup of six, second and 14. On second down from the 21, Colbert to throw. Wants Truman. Has Truman. Can't make McDuffie miss. And that'll set up a third and medium. Third and eight from the 27. It's a screen set up. Tajay spears the recipient, and he's going to have the first. 
gets to the 38 before he's brought down first and 10 Denver. I think it's going to be slow and steady wins the race for the Broncos this week. As on first and 10 from the 38, we'll go back to Spears. Good block from Quinn Miners, but only a pickup of four. Second and six from the 42 as Colbert is back to pass. Wants Marvin Mims, who makes the grab over top of his defender and gets to the 27 in Kansas City territory. Marvin Mims does have pretty good spec catch, I have to say. Even if his spec catch rating isn't all that, he seems to come down with these a lot. Jaleel McLaughlin has checked into the game first and 10 from the 27 for Denver, and Jaleel will get the carry here. It's a pickup of five from the 23. It's play action, and Colbert will look to throw. Wants Zay Jones should have been intercepted in and out of the hands of the safety. Third and five. Five yards to go. Colbert will look to throw. Has Marvin Mims, and he hangs on a first down for Denver. First and 10 from the 16. Has Colbert in zone. Mims, touchdown Denver. Marvin Mims mossing his man once again. Comes down with a touchdown. A great drive for him. Two big plays, one of them being a touchdown and a couple other catches as well. And Denver going to tie this football game up. Maybe this is the week that the breakout actually happens for Marvin Mims. Two minutes left to play here in the first quarter. The Chiefs driving very easily last time. Obviously had excellent field position. That's a catch for Travis Kelsey. Beat his man. I think that was Justin Reed in coverage. First and 10 to the 43. Travis Kelsey definitely regressing. Maybe not the player he used to be, but still got to be a top five tight end in the NFL. First and 10 from the 43. It's intercepted by Drew Sanders. The first pick on the season for Patrick Mahomes is the middle linebacker, Drew Sanders, taking one away. And Denver will take over in Kansas City territory at the 47. Looks like Mahomes must have just not seen him. It was an RPO, and he was trying to hit Sky Moore. Drew Sanders had none of it. First and 10 Denver from the 47, as Jaleel McLaughlin will get the carry, and it's only one yard. Second and nine from the 46. It'll be a throw to Jerry Perry, and it's knocked out of his hands. Probably would have been a loss had he held on to it. Third down, Colbert. Back to pass, wants Marvin Mims, has him, and that's another first down for Marvin. He's killing it so far today. Second and nine from the 26. Colbert back to pass, running out of time, and down he goes. A sack for Nick Bolton, and that sets up a third and very long 15. It's the end of the first quarter, second quarter coming right up. First play of the second quarter is a throw for Marvin Mims, but it's intercepted. Overthrown by Dennis Colbert, intercepted by Wingard, and the Chiefs get the turnover right back. That is such a disappointing way to end that drive. The sack into the interception, as I guess Colbert was scared there of Chris Jones and just overthrew Marvin Mims. The fifth interception on the season for Dennis, I think that is three straight games now with interceptions, so almost regressing so far this season as Devin Bush all over that one, a loss of two for Isaiah Pacheco. Nine and a half left to play here in the first half as Mahomes out of the shotgun is going to be throwing here. Has Travis Kelsey brought down by a couple Broncos defenders, third and four. Denver looking to get a stop here, force the Kansas City punt. Let's see what Mahomes can do. Under some pressure, off his back foot, launches it downfield, it's punched out. Patrick Sertan, he's the best in the NFL and it's not particularly close. Fourth and four, Chiefs will have to punt. Broncos take over, first and 10 from their own 24. Tajay Spears breaks the tackle, but only manages a yard. A slow start for the run game today. Second and nine from the 25. Colbert back to pass, wants Marvin Mims, hit as he throws. Out of reach, incomplete. Third down. Third and nine from the 25. Colbert looking to convert, but he's going to go down. Another sack for Nick Bolton. Fourth and 19, and the Broncos are going to have to punt this one right back. It looks like Bolton, for the most part, was completely unblocked. The Chiefs winning the field position battle currently. First and 10 from the 43. Seven minutes left to play here in the first half as Isaiah Pacheco manages to get this to the outside. Nearly broke that away. PS2 maybe saving a touchdown. Baron Browning back, by the way, this week over here on the right side of your screen. 
And second and seven. This is nearly intercepted by Justin Reed in the direction of Travis Kelsey. Third and seven from the 46. Mahomes will look to throw, has his man, and it's caught by Kadarius Toney. PS2 giving up the play, and it's a fresh set of downs for Kansas City. First and 10 from the 35, six minutes left to play as Mahomes will look to throw, has his man punched away. That's Rasheed Rice, second and 10 from the 35. As Mahomes to throw again, wanted Pacheco, but he got caught up on a couple defenders. Can the Broncos get the stop? Force the field goal here. It's a throw and it's incomplete. Looking for Kadarius Tony. PS2 all over it. Fourth and 10, Kansas City. I imagine they attempt the field goal here. With the terrible weather, they are punting it from the Denver 35. That is insane. Will it at least be a good punt? It looks like it definitely is, and it is. We will start at the four. So from really inside the four, kind of the three and a half yard line, first and 10. It's a handoff. Tajay Spears nearly broke that one. Second and six from the seven as Colbert back to pass. Wants Winters misses the throw. Really seems to be struggling today with the weather. Third and six from the seven as he wants Mims and he drops it. Mims could have come up with another big first down here. Instead, it's going to be a punt once again. So the Chiefs starting from their own 44. So Mahomes is out of the shotgun. Not a lot of runs so far for Pacheco and it won't be one here as it's just a throw for Kelsey brought down by Drew Sanders. Both offenses struggling here so far today with the bad weather. On second and six from the 49, Mahomes will fake it to Pacheco, lobs one down the field, wants Kadarius Tony slightly overthrown. Third down. From the 49, it is third and six as Mahomes is going to be throwing. Wants Tony misses the throw again. The bad weather really hindering both quarterbacks and the Chiefs will punt it right back. A punt fest here in the second quarter as Denver will start from their own 23. It's first and 10. Tajay Spears on the carry has good room to work with. Jukes out a defender and gets to the 38, the first good run of the day for really either team. Second and 10, three and a half minutes left to play. It's Tajay Spears on the carry, good blocking from Chester Truman and Quinn Miners, third and two. Three minutes left, third and two. Tajay Spears can't get it done. Fourth and three, and it's gonna be yet another punt. An excellent punt from Riley Dixon has the Chiefs starting from their own seven with 2.15 left to get some points on the board. As Mahomes fires, has Sky Moore, and they're gonna get a ton of that yardage back immediately. They get 23 yards to the 30. Two minute warning as the clock stops from the 30. Mahomes in the shotgun as he almost always is looking to throw, running out of time off his back foot, almost intercepted by Devin Bush on second and 10. Mahomes running out of time. Zach Allen's in the backfield almost immediately. It's Sky Moore on the reception brought down by Drew Sanders, but it's a first down and the Chiefs hurry it up. First and 10 from the 41. As Mahomes, once again, to throw, has Kelsey Bush, couldn't swat it away, brings him down, but they're in Denver territory already at the 38. First and 10 with just over a minute left to play. Mahomes running out of time. Baron Browning trying to chase him, but Mahomes too quick slides down at the 33, second and five. They burn a timeout. Second down and five to go with a minute left here in the first half as Mahomes underneath Wanted Rice punched out by Drew Sanders. Third down. Can they get the first down yardage? Or will they have to settle for a field goal attempt or possibly a punt, which we've seen before? They mark that as a first down for Sky Moore. And the Chiefs use their second timeout. At the Denver 27 with 53 seconds. Mahomes wants Kelsey. Has him. Devin Bush again can't break it up. Just brings him down at the 12. The Chiefs look to be on their way to points, unless there is a turnover or some clock mismanagement. As Mahomes all day finds Pacheco, finds the end zone, touchdown Kansas City. And they will take a 14 to seven lead, likely heading into the half. They left us very little time, a very well done drive from the Chiefs. 21 seconds remain, it's 14 to seven. The Chiefs have the lead. Colbert will look to throw. 
Maybe trying to make something happen as he'll get it to Rashad Winters. Gets out of bounds, and I think that is going to be an unnecessary roughness call. It is indeed. So that gives us a bunch of extra yards. So now it's first and 10 from our own 44, and we're already kind of closing in on field goal range. As we'll look for Chester Truman, and he gets to the 26 in Chiefs territory. 10 seconds left. This would pretty much have to get to the end zone or else we'll have to settle for that field goal. Colbert wants Chester Truman. That was a free touchdown and he missed the throw. So Tanner Brown on to make this a 14 to 10 game. The kick is up and it is shanked to the right. No good. And the Broncos will still be down by seven heading into the half. 14 to seven is your score currently as the Chiefs find themselves in the lead. Take a look around the league as there are still raindrops hitting the screen as though it's raining here in this weird graphic. Vegas taking on the Giants. They have won that game 17 to 14. Even the Raiders being probably the worst team in the AFC West have been fairly decent this season. The Falcons visiting the Rams 31 to 0 at the half. And finally, the Titans visiting the Cardinals. They're up 17 to 3 heading into halftime. 4 and 3 are the Titans. The Cardinals down at 1 and 5. So the Chiefs have the lead and to start with the football here in the second half. This one has some serious potential to get out of hand, perhaps, as this will be a screenplay for Isaiah Pacheco. Breaks out of the Justin Reed tackle, brought down by Drew Sanders, but has the first down. On first and 10 from the 37, Mahomes out of the shotgun will hand off Pacheco. Down he goes. Zach Allen, Drew Sanders there, no gain. On second down, Mahomes is going to look to throw this time. Not under any type of pressure. Finds Kadarius Tony. There's a flag down. I think it's going to be roughing the passer again. It is roughing the passer. I think it's probably Drew Sanders. And it was. That gives the Chiefs a ton of extra yards. And now it's first and 10, basically in the red zone from the 24. This will be a throw for Pacheco. Punched out. Drew Sanders. Second and 10. Mahomes. As time finds Rasheed Rice in the middle of the field, and he goes down at the four. First and goal, Kansas City. From the four, first and goal. It's a toss to Pacheco. Devin Bush all over it. A big loss down at the 11. Second and goal from the 11. Mahomes by himself in the backfield. Running to his right. Fires out of bounds. Third down. Third and goal from the 11. Mahomes. Running out of time again, getting chased, throwing it away again. And it's going to be fourth and goal, and they'll probably settle for the field goal. A good stand there from the Broncos' defense, and the Broncos' offense will start from the 31. 17-7 is your score, with seven minutes left to play here in the third quarter. It's a handoff. Tajay Spears, good blocking, and has a good pickup. Gets to the 44, first down. First and 10 from the 44. As Colbert looking for Marvin Mims overthrown. Second down. Second and 10. Colbert to throw. Has Rashad Winters in the middle of the field. He's wide open and he's gone. It's a touchdown for the Broncos. They sent a zero blitz but forgot to cover the big man. That's Rashad Winters. And it's a touchdown for Denver on just a couple plays. So the Chiefs settle for a field goal, and the Broncos immediately rebuttal with a touchdown. 17-14 is your score here in the third quarter. It's picked off again. It's Drew Sanders. The second time today he's picked off Patrick Mahomes, who previously hadn't thrown an interception all season. The bad weather really getting to the best quarterback in the NFL, and Drew Sanders is capitalizing two picks on the day, the first play of the drive for the Chiefs. First and 10 from the Kansas City 25. It's play action, and Colbert wants in zone, but he's hit as he throws, and it's intercepted by Nick Bolton. Oh my goodness. An interception for Mahomes on one play, followed immediately by a Dennis Colbert interception on the very next play, and we basically go right back to where we started. Couldn't have written a better script for those last couple of plays as Darius Tony makes a grab here, a pickup of three. That is ridiculous. Two interceptions for each of the quarterbacks, and both of the interceptions have followed each other. 
on the very next drive. Second and seven from the 23. It's a fake to Pacheco. Picks up the block on Zach Allen. Travis Kelsey breaks out of his tackle and is tripped up by Cameron Bynum at the 36. Denver hoping to just prevent a touchdown on this drive would be the most ideal outcome. I guess another interception would really be the most ideal as Pacheco continues to churn. Only seven carries and only 15 yards on the day, but that was a really good run. The Chiefs one of the most pass-heavy offenses in the NFL. And why would you not be with a guy like Patrick Mahomes at the helm? As this will be a throw for Pacheco brought down by Devin Bush. Pickup of two. Under four minutes left to play here in the third. As Mahomes completely by himself. As they're flipping the play around completely. Swapping fields is literally everyone as Mahomes fires. It's a screenplay set up for Rice, and Drew Sanders is having a day. A big third down here for the Chiefs from the 45 as Mahomes takes the snap, fires, has his man. It's Sky Moore, and they are marking him as a first down. I thought he was short. It was pretty good coverage from Damari Mathis, but obviously not good enough. First and 10 from the 40. As Mahomes will throw once again, has Rice, it's punched out, still being bobbled, eventually hits the ground and complete. That makes it second and ten. As Mahomes likely to throw again, and he is. Has time, has his man, it's Sky Moore brought down by Drew Sanders. Third down. Third and two. Can the Chiefs convert? As Mahomes, back to pass again, has his man, and he holds on. First and ten from the 27 after that play. Haven't seen a ton of Baron Browning, as this is a throw for Kadarius Toney, which he hauls in for a pickup of four. Mahomes at 40 pass attempts and just under 300 yards, as he is under center here and will be throwing. Has his man, and it's dropped by Kadarius Toney. Very on theme for him. Third and six. 36 seconds left in the third. As this is a screen set up for Kadarius Toney. Brought down by Damari Mathis and PS2. Fourth and six. The Chiefs will have to settle for three. Denver offense takes over. Basically 10 minutes left to play in the game. First and 10 from the 29. Tajay Spears gets a good carry. Breaks a tackle. Upended at the 42 as there is an injured Chief. First and 10 from the 42. It's play action as Colbert will look to throw. Wants Marvin Mims. Excuse me, that's Chester Truman. And it's completed despite an inaccurate pass first down. A false start has pushed the Broncos back five. So it's first and 15 from the 48. And it's Tajay Spears on the carry. Cuts it back. Gets a good pickup. And it's going to be second down and four. From the 37. It's play action. And Colbert wants Jerry Perry. It's overthrown. Colbert under some pressure, and it's inaccurate. Third and four from the 37. Colbert wants Zay Jones. He's got Zay Jones, who breaks out of a tackle and finds his way to the end zone. Touchdown Broncos. The first catch on the day for Zay Jones leads to a touchdown. Colbert throwing that basically the instant it hit his hands, and Zay Jones makes it happen. Touchdown Denver. And with the PAT, we'll take a one-point lead. A good return for the Chiefs has them starting at their own 34. As Mahomes finds himself down by one here in the fourth quarter, this is a completion to Travis Kelsey, brought down by Cameron Bynum and Damari Mathis, and that puts Patrick Mahomes over 300 yards on the day. A false start for the Chiefs at almost exactly the same spot on the field as the Broncos got it, makes it first and 15 from the 48. As Mahomes finds his man quickly, it's Sky Moore. Dante Wake in coverage. It is third down, four to go. Another flipped play for Kansas City, but Mahomes now by himself in the backfield. Under eight minutes left to play. Over the middle, it's caught. As that is Kadarius Tony coming down with it first down. PS2 was all over him, but couldn't force it out. First and 10 from the 36 as Mahomes will look to throw again. Wants Kelsey, has Kelsey, he might have a touchdown. Damari Mathis saves it. Down at the four, first and goal, KC. From the four, first and goal, Mahomes throws incomplete. Under pressure from Will Ware, who is on the field. Completely empty backfield for Mahomes at the four. So definitely throwing as Mahomes fires. Kelsey, touchdown, Kansas City. You knew he was going to get involved at some point. Normally, we get absolutely killed by tight ends. But today we had kept Kelsey relatively quiet until the very end. 
where he gets a touchdown and the Chiefs will retake the lead. They are going for two to try to make it a seven point lead with six and a half minutes left to play. Mahomes under center, kind of a rare occurrence. It's a pitch to Pacheco and Baron Browning welcome back. What a play. So Denver only needs the six to take the lead, not a full seven. First and 10 from the 20. It's a handoff. Tajay Spears, and he might have lost a yard. They'll say he got back to the line of scrimmage. On second and 10 from the 20, Colbert will look to throw, and that is wildly inaccurate. Honestly, lucky that's not picked. A first down here would be very crucial to our chances of winning this game. Third and 10 from the 20. We're going to try for Chester Truman. It's inaccurate and then deflected. Colbert not having a good day. Fourth down. So the Chiefs take back over. Denver no choice but to punt it here. A field goal would make it an eight-point lead for Kansas City as this is a throw for Rice incomplete. Drop. 50 pass attempts on the day for Patrick Mahomes. Seems like the Chiefs have sort of dominated time of possession as it'll be a throw again for Rice once more. That one is complete first down. Surprised that they aren't running the ball here to try to kill more clock, but I guess if you can complete the passes, it does the same thing. Is this a throw for Pacheco punched out? Drew Sanders has been everywhere. There are five minutes left. Second and 10 from the 43, Mahomes fires over the middle, knocked away, PS2. So it's third and 10, Denver praying for the stop here. Five minutes remain in the game. It's a throw, a great throw from Mahomes. Gets to Sky Moore, first and 10, and they're in field goal range. First down with four and a half minutes. A touchdown would definitely make this game really hard to come back from. That's a drop from Sky Moore. It was good coverage from Dante Wake, but I don't think he was involved in knocking that away. On second and 10, four minutes and 20 seconds, still not running the ball. As Mahomes fires, wants, Kelsey has him. Stevenson was in coverage, and Mahomes over 400 yards. Hard not to throw for that many yards when you have over 50 pass attempts on the day. First and goal. Mahomes throws over the middle. Rasheed Rice tried to dive in, stuffed at the line. It'll be first and goal from the half-yard line. And it's going to be a handoff to Pacheco, and Devin Bush is all over it. That was a loss of a couple, and we will see if they can manage to convert this time. Still eye formation. I imagine it's a run once again. This time it's a toss to Pacheco, and he's going to walk it in. Touchdown, Kansas City. And now a two-possession lead for the Chiefs. It's getting bad. It's not looking very good for the Broncos' chances of victory today as the Chiefs extend the lead here. So here we go. The Broncos will have to score quickly, get a stop defensively, and score quickly again. It is first and 10 Denver as Colbert looking down the field. Wants Chester Truman. It is intercepted for the third time today, and that will put this game away for Kansas City. By far the worst day in the career of Dennis Colbert. Really, really struggled today, as is gonna be a handoff Pacheco, and oh my God, he has really good yards. Gets to the 13 first and 10, and we'll hit the two minute warning. From the seven, I, they're gonna score a touchdown, I can just feel it. Second and four. Handoff, Pacheco doesn't get there. Dante Wake stops it. Third and two from the five. There goes Pacheco. He does find the end zone, and it's going to make this game look even a little bit worse. There you have it. That's the game. I actually ended up throwing a pick six <laughs> with Dennis Colbert before the game ended. So the final is 47 to 21. In reality, it was 33 to 21. Uh, the AI is just stupid and doesn't take knees when they absolutely could. So they got to run up the score a little bit. So the score looks a lot worse than it really was. Dennis, you know, gets the, the couple interceptions extra that he probably wouldn't have, but it is what it is. It's Madden after all. It is a video game. We hung with the Chiefs the whole game, but I think that this is the first time a team has really exposed us for what we are. We are a mediocre team that can scrape by wins. So if we look at the players 
stats, Mahomes had 57 pass attempts, 423 yards, three touchdowns, two picks. Dennis really starting to look like a rookie in the last few weeks, 244 yards, three touchdowns, four picks. In reality, it's three touchdowns, three picks, but I was just screwing around at the end, threw a pick six, that's on me. Rushing, Tajay Spears, 13 attempts, 74 yards, 5.6 a carry, really had a pretty good game. We didn't see any of Jaleel really, and the defensive run game was pretty good. We stopped Pacheco a number of times, but he still did end up with two rushing touchdowns. Receiving, Marvin Mims actually led the team in receiving with four receptions for 71 yards and a touchdown. Still not the 150 he needed, but a pretty good performance for him nonetheless. I think almost all of that came in the first half. Chester Truman, shockingly quiet today, almost never happens. Rashad Winters had a good day, three for 69 and a touchdown, and Zay Jones, two for 42 and a touchdown. Defensively, Devin Bush led in solo tackles, but Cameron Bynum led in total tackles with 10. Drew Sanders had nine. In terms of TFLs, Devin Bush, three TFLs, Baron Browning one, PS2 one, no sacks on the day. Our pass rush has been horrendous recently. Drew Sanders had the two interceptions, of course. I think that game just goes to show that we really are not that good of a team, and we've gotten very lucky to start the season, and now the Chiefs have sort of exposed us for just kind of being a mediocre team that can find these close wins very much as I've continued to compare us to the 2022 Minnesota Vikings. Anyway, let's get through these. We've got the tandem breakout, which of course failed again for Marvin Mims. Did not get the 150 yards he needed. Go ahead and skip this. We've seen this three times now this season. Take a look at the rivalry game, which of course we lost, but Chris Jones wasn't particularly involved. It was really Nick Bolton that was kind of giving us fits. He had a couple sacks on the day, but uh, we're obviously not going to get anything from that. In fact, our offensive line is going to have worse pass block power and pass block finesse for the next game. So it might be a long day for Dennis. Next man up, Tajay Spears did not meet the goal of, I think it was 150 yards on the ground for him. He had a good day. It's just, we were playing from behind for a good chunk, had to start throwing the ball a lot. The game expects a lot for these breakout scenarios. And the fact that we had two at the same time to get 150 yards for Spears and 150 for Mims is a little stupid. And lastly, we got to talk about the rain game. God, we had so many things going on this week. That is a loss that we we definitely feel, but it's definitely not just the conditions. Dennis Colbert played really bad, and we will also have minus three run block power and run block finesse for the next game. So our blocking next game is going to be horrendous. Looks like we had somebody win a weekly award after I advanced the week. It's Drew Sanders. He had two interceptions. I'm surprised it wasn't somebody on the Chiefs defense. Like, I think it was McDuffie who got the pick six at the end. He played really well. And we're on to our bye week officially. So you guys let me know, do you want to see a full-blown scouting episode here in the bye week? Because I can I can definitely arrange that or we can kind of just keep it churning and the next episode would be against the Raiders. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do truly appreciate the continued support. I'm going to keep trying to pump out videos as much as I can. And in the next episode, we'll either go over scouting or we'll play against the Raiders depending on what you guys want.